is not a trail where a vehicle like this has any business being on. Today is the day where we are going to tackle East Coast terrain for the first time and not just any East Coast terrain but a black trail at Windrock Park. It's really not a good idea honestly to take this thing on a trail like that but how do we find out what it's capable of and what I'm capable of without trying it? So this thing is a stick shift, 80 horsepower on a good day, 34 inch tires, no hydro assist, way too high gears, 529s or something. This thing hardly crawls at all. All of these things are definitely not helping me here today. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> This is like learning how to wheel all over again. This is the complete opposite to what I'm used to in my Jeepster. So that's exactly why this is so awesome to me and so much fun is because I literally get to learn how to wheel all over again. It's just different. It's just, I have to get used to it and I, I just need seat time and that's why we're here for. So far, this little thing is really, really impressive. As you guys know, I road tripped this truck from Seattle, Washington all the way to Atlanta, Georgia. That was one hell of a ride. If you guys have missed that story, make sure you check out the link in the description below to follow that insane journey. And now we're back on the East Coast. This is probably the first time this little truck has seen East Coast terrain. Oh my God, we're already coming crooked here. Woo! Oh God. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah guys, this is a completely new world to me, to say the least. I have never ridden in a Toyota before I had this thing, never owned one before, never worked on one, never wheeled a carbureted vehicle and never wheeled a stick shift vehicle. Now we're doing all of those things at the same time. Let's see how it goes. All right, first hill climb of the day. This is pretty serious, honestly. For the little Toyota, this is probably one of the steepest climbs this thing is about to do. There's a pretty big boulder right in the middle. And then right behind the Jeep on the hill is another one. This is pretty steep with some pretty big rocks in it. What do you guys think? Can we make this? That honestly went way better than expected. Again, I have to learn how to drive a freaking stick shift. It does not want to crawl whatsoever, and it's carbureted. It wants to die the entire time. But we made it. It was like, what, two attempts, three attempts, and we had it. I'm happy. That was good. Obstacle one, complete. All right, there's another little obstacle ahead of us. The trail guide is struggling on a little bit. Oh, it's pretty dug out. That's what the problem is. Yep. This is exactly what you need to get the adventure back. We just made the hard line on this and just walked it. <laughs> In off camber situations like this one, I don't know if you can see it, but in situations like this, it's all about keeping the carb alive. This is really, really off camber. Everybody's just waiting and I'm here sitting here on my side and my motor wants to die. <laughs> Oh, there's somebody stuck in front of us, so this might be a minute. Oh, great. All right, so the guy in front of us is gone, which is great. It just wiggled the rig a little bit and got right through it. Sometimes a little bit of manpower does the job. Let's see what we can do there. Mm. I hope this thing starts and the carb is not running full of, uh, full of fuel. All 
right, next up is some really off camber downhill section. I don't have a passenger side mirror, so I'm gonna try it and see what happens. That was an insanely slick downhill section. I basically slid down this thing. Definitely found out that this is a long bed. <laughs> totally kissed the rear uh, of the tailgate and the bumper. But totally hit that. Nothing too terrible, but I found out something else. Look at the rear shocks, at the top eyelids. The rear shocks are completely blown out. There's like a inch of movement where the eyelid of the the top eyelid of the shock is. Hey, she's still kicking. She's doing a lot better than expected. This is so much fun, guys. You have no idea. This is like learning how to wheel all over again. Oh, I'm having a blast. This is great. All right, up next, a massive, massive mud hole. I don't know how deep this thing is. I didn't see anybody else to go through. This is going to get nasty. One thing I do have to say, on my road trip back from Seattle, all I needed was a heater. The heater worked great, but the AC does not work and it is hot. It's like a freaking tin can in here. Yeah, but definitely, I think I can definitely improve on the suspension by just fixing the rear shocks. That shock is basically not doing anything because that top eyelid is so worn out that the shock just bounces back and forth without actually dampening. So new shocks are on the list. Probably gonna get the same ones as in the front, those Bielstein shocks, throw them in the back and we should be good to go. See if we can get this ride a little bit more comfortable because I'm telling you guys this thing is so bouncy. I've driven leaf spring sprung vehicles uh, all my life up until the Jeepster. This is a thousand times rougher than any leaf sprung vehicle I've ever driven. Also probably because it barely has any weight to it. All right, and up the mountain we go. Man, I'm so happy I got this thing. This Toyota brings me so much joy. I don't think you can have any more fun with $5,000 off-road. Seriously. Ugh. This is about as fun as it gets. And you have to freaking work for it, man. Every little obstacle, you have to work it. You know, have to, have to know how to drive and you have to work it. It is freaking exhausting. But man, again, I'm having a freaking ball. This is so much fun. All right, guys, we just stopped on the side of the road because there was a sign that says waterfall. So we kept walking in the direction of the sign. And now check this out, guys. This is absolutely incredible. Absolutely beautiful, guys. This is so cool. In the middle of the off-road park, big waterfall. Can't complain about that. This is awesome. place is so freaking beautiful windrock is absolutely stunning the woods in the summertime look like a freaking jungle waterfalls lookouts overviews that will blow your mind it's absolutely gorgeous this place so happy to be here and this old girl old sushi over here is doing fantastic better than i am and i'm getting more and more seat time i'm getting more and more comfortable with the whole sticks and shift situation yeah just i mean seat time is everything shout out to my friend holly that's exactly what it is seat time over everything the more seat time you get in these things the better you get and i'm starting to learn this old girl it's actually not that bad i've been keeping up with everybody not a single bypass all day long proud of it very very cool but there is some bad weather coming in for sure, so I hope we're gonna stay dry. But, ha! See that? See that right here? Ha! That's a roof! Ha! <laughs> for the first time ever. 
I am not gonna get wet. <laughs> By the way, guys, here, I, I found a new trail snack of choice. Krispy Kreme Bites with strawberry flavor. Yes, absolutely yes. Those things are amazing. Trail snack, mwah. This is what's up. <laughs> All right, here we are in front of, I would say, one of the toughest obstacles here on this trail. Last time I was here, this was a mudslide. This was a straight up waterfall of mud. Now it's dry, so it's a lot more doable. It's really long and then back right about where he's at. It's where the rock section starts and then you have a couple of good climbs and then that's pretty much it. But yeah, that seems to be doable. All right, here we go. So, I told you guys the last obstacle was apparently the hardest one on this trail. I'm not sure. This one looks pretty rough too. Here, let me show you guys. Come from down there, obviously, right through here. This is already a good incline. And then, you're in this, in this U, and then you got this action going on. Here, here, and it's gonna slam you right into that. I'm looking through the GoPro and it looks so lame. It looks so lame. I mean, I'm 6'4", you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty tall. This is no joke for the rigs that we're in. Remember, don't come with, at me that your, your rig on 43 and V8 can do this easy. I know, <laughs> it's a trail guide, it's coming out. Hey, come all the way back out and give it more, more momentum. He's bellying out on pretty uh, on that middle section, so back it up and bump it. Yeah! Nice! He got it, perfect. Go! Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Back up and do it again. Oh. Yeah, oh, okay. That was close. I don't think it's happening, man. Without that rear locking. It's crazy to see how not capable a Jeep, Toyota, whatever vehicle becomes if you only have three tires pulling. It's crazy. All right, he's up and over. That's it. Guys, what a rush. That was freaking awesome. The only one to one shot this that wasn't on 38 inch tires and you know, four door JK and whatnot. Super cool. Proud of you, old sushi. <laughs> All right guys, so on our way out, we decided to hit up the Overlook and hang out for a little bit because we got done uh, sooner than expected. Check out the Windjark Park Overlook. Here we go. Bam. Oh my God, guys, what an epic day. What an absolutely epic day. This old girl did phenomenal, absolutely fantastic. I got so much more seat time in today. I feel so much more comfortable with this thing. The old Toyota pretty much one shot at every single obstacle. I didn't get stuck once. I didn't have to winch once. Nobody had to pull me out, nothing. It went really, really well, way better than expected. I believe the hype now. Let me say it this way. I believe the hype. All these years of comments of Toyota people underneath our videos, 
I understand it now. I get it. I understand it. I really, really do. I'm all about it. All about that Toyota life. Super, super, super fan of it. And uh, yeah, man, I had a I had a fantastic day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how you like this video. Let me know how you like the Toyota. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.